All right, so today we got a realistic Navajo TRC 458. This is an all stock radio. This has been uh, recapped, repaired, realigned, and uh, still remains all stock. So today we're going to unlock the clarifier. I'm going to show you that step by step. So let me uh, get the covers off and we'll begin. Okay, so here we got the SAMS manual out for the TRC 457 and 458. And I'll show you where I normally grab my eight volts for the, the, the clarifier circuit once it's unlocked. And that is right here. So we're gonna grab 7.82 volts right here off this, this power run here. And that's in the SAMS manual, they number out these traces so you can more easily find them. And that is exactly where on the board, just like on the Cobra 138s or realistic TRC 449s where I normally grab my eight volts power, which is this rail right here. So this is where we'll, we'll go ahead and supply a steady 8 volts, constant 8 volts to the clarifier circuit as opposed to the 8 volts it has now only in receive. So it'll have 8 volts and receive and transmit. And right now, um, again, this is a little bit different than a TRC449 or a Cobra 138 in that they have these wires here. Here's our clarifier wires. Then they're terminated to the bottom side of the PCB or top side, however you want to look at it. The, the solder side of the PCB is where these wires are terminated as opposed to the opposite on a 138XLR or a 139XLR or a uh, TRC449. Uh, so this right here is our eight volts for the clarifier and receive right now on a stock clarifier. And this is our center uh, leg of the potenti clarifier potentiometer is terminated here. And if you turn that, turn the radio over, you would, this is the PLL section right here is what we're in. So, and then the, uh, the other leg of the clarifier goes right to here. And you know what? I'm not going to change that. Um, you'll see on the internet where they say, oh, you got to have a hard ground on the other end of the, on the other leg of the, um, clarifier opposite of your eight volts. But I found on these 138XLRs, TRC449s, that's not necessary. Uh, I don't ever move the, uh, the other leg of the clarifier potentiometer from where it originally is, sit, is, is terminated to, which is right here. I just leave it alone. So the only thing we're going to do is we're going to lift this brown white wire here, and we're going to re-terminate it over here onto this trace and get a steady, constant 7.8 volts right there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, mod the rest. So we'll be back uh, after we get this moved. Okay, so we moved our clarifier power source to right here. So this is, I don't know if that's coming in, focusing, yeah. So this is uh, on that trace I was talking about here in the last segment. It goes all the way up to here. And this clarifier wire is actually on a small Molex pin, just like this wire that's behind it. So I just uh, lifted it from its where it was actually at here originally and uh, just retinned the pin and then just soldered it along with the other pin right here to our constant 7.8 volt source. So now we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so now we're back on the other side of the board. The next step is we're going to lift one leg of R117 right here. We're going to lift one leg of R119. And then we're going to lift one leg of D30, which is on the other side over here, you can see. So we'll get those three legs lifted, and that's really about it. The clarifier will be unlocked at that point, and transmit and receive will track together. So let me, let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so we've got a leg of R117 and a leg of R119 lifted here. And the same thing on the other side, if I, we can see it. We've got a leg of D30 lifted on the other side, and that's it. I, I leave them in place in case I ever decide I want to reverse what I've done. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so there they stay, and we'll move on to alignment next. We'll be back. Okay, so we got our fire back up on the bench. We're in channel, uh, on channel 19, lower sideband here, 
and you'll see that our clarifier is right at the center and we're going to go ahead and just key it up here and we're going to look on our frequency counter and see what our output frequency currently is and i'm going to focus in on the background there so you can watch all right so we're going to key and you see that we are at 27 182 183 so we're about a kilohertz low from where we want to be we want to be one kilohertz under the carrier which is going to be 27185 and i'm going to move the clarifier here and you'll see that it is unlocked let me get my hand on it all right now we'll move it you see moving it to the right moving it to the left so she is definitely unlocked and we'll go ahead and now get to aligning this where we want it um so i've explained this in every other clarifier unlock video i've done so far and when you look at forums online after a clarifier unlock is done what they mention is or what they instruct to do is to then adjust your transmit offsets for am upper sideband lower sideband to uh, get where you need to be on frequency and usually they're kind of referencing the uh, frequencies out of the pll alignment which in my opinion once you unlock a clarifier just throw that pll alignment out the window it's not going to work anymore uh, but again, they also don't mention that you can use, once you unlock the clarifier, you can use your receive offsets for AM, upper sideband, and lower sideband, which are located here, as well as your transmit offsets, which are out here, to get the overall frequency that you want to get. And that's what I do on every single um, clarifier unlock and it works perfect it's stable sounds great and completely unlike anything you you'll find on a forum so i'm going to go ahead and align this and when i'm done my clarifier will be centered the center slot will be at 12 o'clock i will not have to pull this knob and readjust or anything crazy i will get this aligned on am lower sideband and upper sideband and i will have the center slot at 12 o'clock and that and the way I'm going to do that is using both receive and transmit offsets in conjunction with each other I mean I've seen some stuff where the people will say oh well you just you know add a uh, such and such picofarad capacitor to your to your trimmer capacitor for for lower sideband to uh, to give you more adjustment well you got all the adjustment you need you got another trimmer capacitor right there for lower sideband and, the, and these two can and will be used in conjunction with each other so we'll go ahead and uh we'll get that done right now and then i'll show you the results after the fact let me uh let me go ahead and do that all right i got my handy adjustment tool here i'm going to go ahead and just show you on lower sideband what i'm talking about and the first trimmer capacitor i'm going to get onto after keying it up here we'll see again we're at 27183 and our clarifier knob is centered we're going to get on uh, ct5 here if i can get on it and then i'll focus for you okay i think i'm on it so we're on ct5 which is our receive offset trimmer capacitor for lower side and i'm going to move this oh get on the slot all right there you go i'm moving it so i'm going to do is i'm going to come up pretty high with this i'm going to move it as far as i can move it we'll go about there all right so now i was adjusting the receive offset trimmer capacitor there for lower sideband now i'm going to get on the the uh transmit offset which is right here if i can get on it oh my gosh All right, there, I'm on it now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust a little more. And there we go. We are on frequency. Oh, oh, I just came off, hold on. Let me get up a little more. I can see it. All right, hold on, let me, let me stop keying here. 
me give the radio a little break. It's very tough to get onto those little trimmer capacitors with one of these tools, but I don't want to use anything metal. Uh, okay, now I'm finally in the slot. All right, there, now I'm finally in the slot. It's kind of hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. All right, so now let me go ahead and key this up again here. All right, so now we're keyed up again, and we see where we're at. Very close to where we want to be at. I'm going to go a little high, because once I pull my screwdriver off, there, screwdriver off there, it's probably going to drop a little bit. There it goes. See, it dropped. Okay, so now we're on right where we want to be at. So what we're looking at here, or what we were looking at, is this is the output from the radio. So when I, I'm not looking for a specific frequency like I would be doing a PLO alignment and looking at a test point for 34 megahertz or whatever it happens to be for this PLO alignment, I can't remember exactly. I'm looking at the actual output from the radio um, while it's keying. So I, what I'm looking for is one kilohertz off my carrier. So at 27.1850 megahertz, which is our AM carrier, I wanna be at one kilohertz below that for lower sideband, and I want to be one kilohertz above that for upper sideband. So that's what we were seeing there, and that's how I align a clarifier after unlocking it. So I just wanted to show you that uh, that basic principle there, and also that you can use both your receive offset uh, adjustment and your transmit offset adjustment to achieve what you want. And then when we're, let me go ahead and finish the upper and lower I'm sorry, upper and AM, and then we'll look at the results after the fact, and we'll see if we can hear some skip on the uh, out there in DX land. Um, but again, like I said, when we're finished, we're not going to have to pull this knob off and do anything crazy. We're going to be 12 o'clock center slot like we are right now. So I'll go ahead and finish upper and AM, and then we'll be back. All right, we're back. We've got all three modes aligned, and we're going to take a look at it. But let me first show you this clarifier show you that I have not had to pull this knob and, and recenter it. So right now you see the clarifier is dead center and I'm gonna roll it all the way to the right. And you see where it's sitting at way down there. And we're gonna roll it all the way to the left. And it's way down there. So yeah, knob has not been pulled, no trickery here. We're gonna get it back to as close to center as we can how I aligned it. That'll be a trick, but we'll see. All right, so let's start with uh, lower. And again, now we just moved that knob, so it's not going to be exactly where I aligned it at. But we should be close, so we'll go ahead and key up. Let me put a tone on here. We'll key up and we'll see what she's uh, doing for lower sideband. Let me turn off that. So, yeah, we're within 20, so I got lucky there getting it right back where I, where I started at her pretty close. Okay, so we're about where we want to be at there. We're one kilohertz below the carrier. And we'll go to upper, and we'll look at her again. All right, we're keying up. So we're showing 50 kilohertz above where we ideally would like to be at. Now, again, I did bump this clarifier. You saw that I moved it. So let's we'll see if we can change it slightly. No, that was the wrong way. Oh, see. Very sensitive. And about 20 hertz, where are we sitting at? Didn't change it much. I mean, that's, that's really how sensitive your clarifier will become. All right, so now let's look at uh, AM. Let's see how close we are. Now on AM, we're doing this technique. What you're gonna find is you're gonna be about 100, 150 hertz off from center slot when you do this technique which is nothing nothing to worry about, especially on AM. It's not exactly perfectly on center slot, but it's close. So we'll just dead key here on AM, and we'll look at what our frequency is. So here we go. So we're about 110 hertz low, and that's where our center slot's sitting at. So yeah, so how does it sound? Let's listen to it. Uh, let's see, let me get a mic. Let's put a mic into it and uh, what mode are we in we're in am okay we can start with am let's turn this audio back on 
All right, so there's AM there, and we'll key up and listen to it. Check, check. One, two, three, four. It sounds pretty good on AM. All right, how about upper? Let's put it in upper there. Check, check. One, two, one, two, three, four. Sounds pretty good on upper. And how about lower? All right, there's our lower. Check, check. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep, she sounds excellent. So, yeah, she's all finished. Another clarifier unlock for you. So I hope this helps somebody out. And uh, 73s, everybody. We'll see you next time.